Hello and welcome to our next video. In this video we're going to talk about pressing to set traps. Now to begin with we're going to look at pressing to set traps for the fullback. As you can see the structure of the team that's pressing is in a 4-3-3 and the opposition structure who are building from the back are in a similar setup. Now what we want from our front three is for our striker to just be on the edge of the 18 yard area in between the two defenders on the build up and our two wide forwards can set up in the half spaces just in between the full back and one of the centre backs on their side. Just in behind them we have the midfielders and they should be man to man as best as possible with the midfielders that are there. Now as the, def as the goalkeeper plays the ball out to one of the defenders, we want our striker to try and cut off one of the passing lanes so the defender can't play back across to the other defender, forcing them to play wide to the full back, setting up the first part of our trap. As the pass is made to the full back, the wide forward, the closest wide forward will look to curve their run to deny the pass going forward and forcing them to the inside where their midfielders are where we should also have cover and our players should be man-to-man -man and providing a cover shadow on the opposition midfielders. Forcing them in this direction will force them into an area where we have an advantage because we have the players man-to-man -man on their midfielders and hopefully we should create mistakes where we can try and win the ball back from this setup. Now the pressing has to be systematic and everybody has to know their roles and responsibility when applying this sort of press. All it takes is one person to not be on time or to not be working together as a unit and the whole system won't work and the players will try will eventually find a way through to progress the ball forward. Pressing the fullback tends to be more common than pressing other areas because pressing the fullback, the fullbacks have limited options compared to players who are central pace centrally the players based centrally um, have multiple options and they can go in all directions what a player who is on the wing or on the sides they only have limited options so they either pass forward or they can pass inwards or even backwards so with them having limited options it's, it's a lot easier to um, restrict them and try to reforce them into areas that also help make help them make mistakes so you can try and win the ball back now let's look at another trap we can set and that's setting a trap for the pivot. Now as you can see as the ball is played out to the defender what's, what's going to happen here is we're going to leave the pivot with a bit of space because we're trying to encourage them to play the ball into the pivot. Now as soon as the ball is played on the pivot's first touch is when we start to engage that pivot and um, the closest midfielders will look to swamp the midfielder the pivot player trying to force them into making errors and win the ball back and turn over possession now this this is probably one of the more difficult ones to engage because um it can be risky as you can see for one you are um it's forcing a lot of players to um trying to engage with one player so if they happen to find a way through that will leave some players spare and also, the player that's in centrally tend to have more options. So they do have other areas where they can play um, to try and find a way out. But as you can see, there are pluses to it as well. Because if they win the ball, then they get to play um, very quickly into areas where they can expose and also create goal scoring opportunities. As you can see from these images... It's very effective having a certain pressing system in place. They can be highly rewarding, but they can also be very risky if not everybody is on the same page as the rest of their teammates. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to join our Facebook community where you can get more tips and advice from not just me, from other people in within the group, please click the link in the description below and I will see you on the inside.